Hi, I'm Charlie Nelson, and I'm part of Nelson's Greenbrier Distillery. If I could go back to the 1800s and ask Charles Nelson, my triple great-grandfather, a question, I think the first question I would ask him is, what are you drinking? Because we've got a lot more to cover after that. Man, if I had to pick my favorite child, one of my products, I don't think I could really do Everything has its own place and time. If I'm drinking a cocktail, I'd say the classic Domi bourbon. If it's after dinner or on the weekend, I'd say the sherry cask. If it's just one drink after work, I'd say our single barrel. And if it's going to be in a punch, then our white whiskey. My advice for someone experiencing a whiskey hangover is to have a Bloody Bell, which is a uh, Bloody Mary with Bell Mead bourbon in it, and maybe some chicken and waffles, and then a nap. There are so many great places, bars and restaurants in Nashville that I, I couldn't name one, but my best, my favorite place would be on a porch with some good friends and some people playing music. I would like to do a shot of whiskey with three Nashvillians, uh, probably Jack White, um, the mayor, Megan Barry, and probably either Shea Weber or Marcus Mariota. One surprising fact about myself is that I can speak Arabic and I used to be fluent in French. My go-to cocktail is probably an old-fashioned or a black Manhattan. Recently, I've been listening to always a lot of country funk from uh, Light in the Attic collection, and then also Nathaniel Rateliff, Sturgill Simpson. Um, gosh, a lot of good music out there. One fellow entrepreneur that I look up to in the beverage business is Tito Beverage of Tito's Vodka. One really good piece of advice that I try to follow and uh, that I, I think was great is surround yourself with people that are a lot smarter than you. Uh, so I, I think we've done a good job of doing that. Um, uh, best lesson that I've learned is, is really focus on one thing and do it well rather than trying to spread yourself too thin and do too many things at once and, and not do them as well as you can. Gosh, it's hard to describe being an entrepreneur in Nashville at this time in one word, but I would say limitless or boundless. There's just so much going on out there, and, and I think the potential is unlimited. So.